and we're discussing the comments here says that maybe it's not going to be a complete failure but it may not do as well as uh, I'm not saying it'll be well in terms of what their their goal is I think it'll be a failure it's like I said before Nintendo nice. will always <laughs> <He's playing. laughs> Nintendo, like Nintendo, will put their name on anything and it will sell. Right. But in terms of hitting their goal, I don't think it'll be successful. I really think it successful. will because it's going to be updated compared to the Wii. So but compared to the but Wii, the thing is like, it's going to look better. It's going to sound better. But the thing is, like, compared to the Wii, the Xbox is updated and the PlayStation is updated. Exactly. That's why they now. I mean, I mean, it, it's, it's like I said. Sad. I mean, that's why they're going to make it. I think that's why they're going to make it cheap. I think they're going to release it at a low price They'd have price to make point. it cheap, dude. Like, it's going to be a low price point. It's going to be probably the same way as when you win it. You think it'll be like another 250 250 I think they're going to call it 250 It's going to it's gonna match the graphics of the PS3, Xbox 360. Because they can't, they're not going to go any higher than that. They don't need to go any higher. They don't have to prove anything to I don't, think, I don't think they can the afford to go any higher than that. Because if, if you put a Wii 2 for 300 bucks, no one's going to buy it. Right. Let, me ask you, let me ask you guys a question. Does, does, the, does the Wii 2 need to have an online presence now? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, if, if you can't compete with Xbox Live nowadays, you're not going to survive. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes they do. Because at, at this point, in terms of in terms of the online market, Microsoft has the heads up. And if, if we want to like make a new system, it, it's got to at least try and compete with that. Because yep. as it is right now, the Wii is not their it's, online. It's not, it's not even online king or nothing. Yeah. It's, like, it's almost like secondary. It's like, yeah, we'll, all right, here's some online. You got it. It's such a watered-down version of what Xbox has. Like, Xbox Live has perfected having an online marketplace. Mm. They are hands down. <coughs> PSN is nowhere near that level. They're much they're better than what the Wii is. They're, they're, they're there, of course. Are, are we discounting the virtual console? No. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think we're going to include the virtual console in that. That's no, no different than PSN. Yeah. No different than Xbox Live. Right? Isn't it all about just... This? Downloading no, but but virtual console has basically every game for every system ever made. But it, it, Xbox is already doing that. Like I mean, they're re-releasing Dreamcast games. Like you know, you can play Crazy Taxi now on Xbox Live. I mean, and PSN. And PSN, yeah. I mean, with the Wii, yeah, it's like you can play. They're doing the same thing. Yeah, you can play Mega Man, NES for the same shit. The, the other thing that, that I'm thinking of is before the Wii, we didn't want to think anything about motion graphics. So. What does Nintendo have? Maybe they have something else up their sleeves. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to agree with John Jay on this one. Again, I don't think they're going to push. I don't think they're going to push the motion on PS2. I, I think they have they're something. They're not going to push. I think they're going to have something. The graphics definitely. But it's not going to be the motion. I think the motion is going to be secondary. But what can that be? What What do well, they have to Whatever offer. they're going to do. We don't do. know. I mean, we didn't know they were coming out with a 3D uh, DS. You know, they've come up with but that's a natural ideas. first step. The, the next step, I should say. So, like right now, we're in a we're in a 3D world. So Xbox, PS3, exactly. yeah, Xbox, PS3. They're already doing Arkham Asylum in 3D. It's not out already like, in 3D. Oh, it's been out. Oh, okay. So they're already doing games in 3D with the graphics of the Xbox and PS3. Nintendo, you know, they have the 3DS, which, in terms of what their goal was, was a flop. So what can they what can they put as a forefront that's not related to the motion control that'll really that'll really be like their their selling point. One of the rumors, one of the rumors that they, that they are that they announced, I think it was either on uh, Game Informer, was that it's going to have an HD screen within the control panel. Oh, now, it's now, a Dreamcast. Only <laughs> that's exactly that's, that's what I was 21st saying. Twenty first century exactly Dreamcast. And and we know how that went. Uh, uh, but see, that's di- well. No, you're right. It's the same. It's the same. People, have a VMU. people don't. Yeah, people don't want to be looking at two different screens. That's but no, you know what? It it I said the same thing about the Where? DS. I was like, what's the point of having two screens? Well, no, 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 no. But that, that's a different story. That's a different story. Because the DS, yeah, you have two screens. It's it's in the same system. What I'm saying is, what what like what the Dreamcast did. You have that little VMU or whatever that little screen on the controller, mm-hmm. and then you also have what you're looking at on TV. It's a plug-in top yeah, after we after we keep that link up to the uh, Game Boy SP for a couple of games. There was Link, I think, was one of them. Not Link. Uh, was Zelda, was it Zelda Wind Waker. I think Zelda Wind Waker, where you could download the map. See, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking if they're gonna do the AC screen, it's gonna have it's gonna involve uh, like for RPG, you can you can look at the map while that, while not having the top map screen. So you can keep going where I have to say, okay, I know where I'm going. 
Maybe I'll have like an, an added feature, like I've noticed on these Blu-rays now, like the Tron. It has, oh, you can uh, download this program to your laptop and there's a second window. Uh, so maybe there's, they're going to come out with something like that where they utilize the 3DS and say, oh, there's some added bonus if you use the, you link it up to the Wii Tip. And what's the big deal? Everyone went on the VMUs route. The biggest thing about the VMUs, which I've, I've never seen done properly, excuse me, was that they were um, uh, the football games, the Madden games. Where, okay, now I can look at my, my playbook without having to have it on the screen. That was a big deal with the VMUs. So I guess now you can actually say, okay, this, this is a great way to push that. I only I, really use my VMUs for the chows. <laughs> Sonic Adventure, Sonic 4. <laughs> I don't know, I just think in, in, if, if you don't think the Wii 2 will, will put motion capture in the forefront. I don't think it will. I don't think I just will. can't think of anything else that, that they could really put up out there. I don't think they're gonna like graphics gonna neglect in it. terms of graphics, they can't they can't try and sell a Wii 2 based on graphics because the PS3 and Xbox were leading in terms of that. Oh absolutely. Motion capture or I'm sorry, motion control. You already have the Sony move. People are already acquainted with that. They already they're already familiar with the Connect. Connect already is fastest selling consumer electronic. Yes. And it just you don't even have a controller. Yeah. So you can't. Well, the Wii Two really can't use that as a selling point. So I'm like, what is the next? What thing? about what they about? Can't be like, oh, well, you can. What about the what about the idea of just pure? We can't discount the pure brand loyalty that fanboys have, though. Well, that's what I was telling you earlier. I mean, yeah, you'll always have those fans that are loyal to to the brand, but that will only get you so far. I mean, you. That's like what I said earlier. They will always sell, but in terms of being successful and reaching their goal, I don't think they have enough loyal fans to be like, "Hey, I want to buy this. I want to buy this for my kids." Or, you know, we're talking about when you when you look at a Wii, you have hardcore gamers and you have parents. And parents aren't going to be like, "Well, I'm loyal to the Nintendo." No, they're going to they're going to buy something one that's affordable and two that kind of makes sense for them. It's like PlayStation's commercials where they say, oh, they have this, 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 and that, yeah. and everything. They need to make it more like that. I mean, the Wii One doesn't even have a DVD drive. That's what it doesn't. It doesn't yeah, drive. Right. You can't play DVDs. You can't play you DVDs. Can? But you got a hacker yeah, to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but the, exactly. I think I think Nintendo. I think hacker. But a parent, exactly. Like a, a parent who's buying their their kid Sally a Wii is not going to be like, well, Sally, you can watch DVDs, but we got to hack it first. <laughs> like, it doesn't work that way. You can watch the like, fun but we have to Google about that. Yeah. Nintendo. I'm sorry, like hacking a system does not sell it. It's not a selling point. So I mean, they really have to up their game.